So auction websites should be the future of the universe. But we gotta, this is old cam. And this is not a spring chicken today. I know. Or I'm huddled by the heater. We do actually have a heater. This is a beach house, and there is no heat in a beach house in Southern California. <laughs> yeah, well. No, it's why you're at the beach is because the weather's always nice. And why are we sitting on a cowhide? <laughs> because the heat's up. Okay. Well, we have this great big fireplace, but it's a California fireplace, which means it's so it's electrical for deck going. Mm -hmm. And we have lights in another room where we do the cooking because that's where we're, we're going to keep this place warm in two spots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we change what we're doing a lot of times because uh, but today we're going to be talking about the fact that the that the economy is not as good as you're being told on the financial networks or, or oh, by the president. Oh, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, see, part of it is you you hear all this news on television and you're thinking, oh, it's just my area or it's just me, right? And you're sitting there thinking, but they're saying it's all it's better all over the place. Because usually most of the people, a lot of you are sitting there thinking, well, that must be somewhere else because the people I know and where I am, it's not that story. Well, it is everywhere because, I mean, if we were to tell you, but what we're basically small business people, you basically have to do business based upon accounts receivable. Mm -hmm. The problem is we're no longer able, uh, we're talking major banks will no longer advance money on accounts receivable from major companies or even major countries. You no longer have access to the funds you need to operate in our country. Mm -hmm. And um, did that go the way of like the small business loan? You know, like when people actually wanted to buy a house. Yeah. And then people are saying, do you know how almost impossible it is to get financing for a home? You can't do it. We just, Even when you have a, a well-paying job you've been at for a very long time. Yeah. We we know people, for instance, that bought a house. Um, and they bought it low. and thought they were going to sell it high, and they put the house. Uh, it's on sale for less money than they paid for it, and they can't sell it now. Mm -hmm. If they just because they, you know why? Because they can't get a loan for it. But mm -hmm. we have been we're doing a, we're, we're also we do a thing called the travel suite, which is uh, basically it's about the travel industry and the entertainment industry, and we have been finding out that people we're talking major businesses and businesses that are in the travel industry don't have the authority to order a roll of toilet paper on their own. Mm -hmm. It can get it can take you two to three months to get permission to spend money to promote your company. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can't do it. If something is happening, for instance, they have to make a decision Monday and it's um, Tuesday of the preceding week. They'll, they'll get, well, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. You know, two to three months later, we're still getting things from people. We did a live Christmas show. We're getting things from people. Well, we're still talking about it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just February, folks, mm -hmm. and we did the show in November, mm -hmm. and they're talking about providing, uh, you know, pro financing for the show. It's done. Well, it makes you wonder why things move so slowly. Yeah. You think we live? What? You think this was one of those? Oh, yeah, on Chinese time. <laughs> no, <laughs> you should call it that. But uh, the economy is, is, is that everybody is afraid to spend any money at the moment. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and that's the bad part because we are small business people. And if you can't get people, uh, okay, you go to trade shows and you, okay, how do you know the trade show isn't doing what it's supposed to be doing? If I call, there's more chiefs than Indians there. Mm -hmm. A chief is a person that comes there and walks around in his business suit and basically doesn't have the authority to do something. The Indians are the guys that actually, can, they're the ones that go uh, check out the product, see what has to be done, and it makes the deal to do it. But we've been to one event after another where there's virtually no people with the authority to purchase anything, and a lot of people, I mean, uh, we're gonna go to Magic in two weeks, actually, yeah. Okay. It's not that much longer. Yeah, in less than two weeks. And you'll you'll go. You can tell uh, the the be, the, the less, Okay, the worse dressed the people are, the more people you have in the place that have the authority to do business. Mm -hmm. Which is funny to, to think. But the, if a guy comes in looking like he is a billionaire, he's looking. He's not mm -hmm. buying. He's looking. Mm -hmm. But if he had, one of the people working for him comes through wearing tennis shirts, tennis shoes, shorts, and a T-shirt, he's looking. So that's how you tell, but um, 
there's been less. Well, in other words, they're all looking. They're all looking, but um, but uh, but there, it's a hard to do business in a country in which you can't. Banks are not allowed to uh, function anymore because we we cannot exist without um, transferring in, uh, accounts receivable into money. Because the way it works is you often don't get paid for like 30 days after you do the job. Mm -hmm. When you get paid up front, there's a, 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 a lot of times, well, this check is, you don't cash the check until next month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So accounts receivable is important to a small business. And with them basically killing accounts receivable loans, it basically stomps on every small business in the nation and puts us all out of business. I mean, she's from the business side of this thing. I'm just from the I, I'm from the bean counting side. Well, they've been financing receivables for a very that's how they that's how businesses, businesses stay in business. Yeah. And if you do not accept, say, for instance, the uh, a, a major nation that is basically rolling in cash, their account, their um, their basically the the document they put out, they're saying isn't worth the paper it's written mm -hmm. on by refusing to accept it. And accounts receivable, or you can—they can hit you to do something. They can hit you with a 30%, up to a 30% fee for doing accounts receivables now, because the government now has said that you have to—you <clears throat> have to make certain that the banks are all paid back. The people are paid back first, mm -hmm. which means they overdo it. So you could end up—you could do a project, pay for all of your vendors, and end up losing money on the project. Well, that's one of the challenges we're looking at because even though you look at the numbers and you think, oh. You have this much coming in, you have this many expenses, you're thinking, oh, we should be able to cover it. If you're hit with a, a charge of 25 to 30 percent, that's huge. Yeah. That's huge. And so your initial numbers you were counting on don't count. We're not even talking about the vendors, because we've, we've seen this like at Sundance, where vendors had promised, you know, and then they only came through with a portion. Like, and when I say a portion, um, I know somebody that was working on something where they were supposed to be coming through with a couple hundred thousand for an event, yeah. and they said, well, we just have a hundred thousand and you're just going to have to do it at that. Yeah. Well, and it changes it entirely. We've had to, we've had to cancel things we were going to do because the people, okay, here's how it works. You know what they do? They tell us go to court. Mm -hmm. You know, what happens is we don't even do it if we have the slightest inclination that we can't turn it into money now. Mm -hmm. And that's becoming, that's not the way it used to be. It used to be if a major corporation said they were going to do something, mm -hmm. they're, it was Bible they were going to do it. Now the response is, well, we've decided we've had to, to change the terms and we're only going to contribute 40% where we were 100%. Well, you can't get the other 60%. Right. It's because impossible. part of it is they have lawyers on staff, yeah. right? And they had agreed to it, they changed the terms, but it's like they decided not to. Yeah. And you've already made your commitments to go ahead and do everything. I know, so you're stuck. It's just, we're in the process right now, like I said, we've got, um, we got accounts receivable so we can't turn into cash because mm -hmm. of the new lending rules. Mm -hmm. So what it means is you work for totally nothing today. So, and that you can't afford to work for nothing in any industry, and it's just, this is every business out there. You're not, okay, they say, well, the market is going up. The market's going up because people aren't buying, got, the businesses are not buying bonds. They're trading, in, they're trading in stock. They're buying this, they're buying that, because the money they are making, they, if they don't do something with it, they lose it in taxes, and they can't do bonds because there's no value in bonds, so now they're buying stock and they figure the losses will be less on stock than they are in bonds. So it artificially makes the market look bigger than what it is. But it, as a matter of fact, that, that um, the institute, the little investor is not investing, and the little investor is the backbone of the market. Mm -hmm. So you're just seeing money going from A to B, back to A to B to A to B, and it doesn't get to C anymore. Mm -hmm. But um, it just makes it, we are, as little investors, we are absolutely perfect examples of the fact that the economy is not as good. What we have to, to unlike the people that you see on television and are talking all these financial shows, they don't buy gas for their cars. Mm -hmm. They don't know what it's costing. They look at figures. They don't go to grocery stores. They do not realize that it costs you a lot more to buy everything in a grocery store today. Mm -hmm. The milk is went up, the bread is went up, the sugar is went up, the car, everything is up. And they say, well, there's no inflation. Yes, there is. But the people that are saying there's no inflation 
these people, have, okay, they send people out to get food for them. They send people out to get to fill up their cars for them. They send people out to have work done on their cars. They do not do it themselves. If they did, then, okay, I've seen it. People that actually go out, oh my God, I didn't realize things were like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, they're trying to give people the, the truth. I mean, sometimes the truth, you know, the, okay, they hear what Mark Twain said about the truth. The truth is the last anything, the last thing anyone wants to hear. And it's time that there is a problem. Our government spends too much money. We have too many regulations. And it is time that people started understanding that if the businesses don't exist, you end up, you don't end up like in Greece, you end up like the Soviet Union that was broke mm -hmm. and became a cap. The Soviet Union is now a capitalistic society ah. where, it, where profits are very important because the country cannot maintain itself without it. And we're no longer able to maintain it because the debt, you cannot spend a trillion dollars a year more than you bring in. Well, you know, and part of it is the, the credit laws are changing as we're speaking. And you, I've talked to different people that go, what? How can they do that? Remember they had sit there and talked about, for example, credit cards. Yeah. Where they could be what was that, to charge, charge up to 4% for credit cards, which actually I thought was on the books before. Um, they didn't utilize it before, but now they can charge you a 4% yeah. for using a credit card. And what happened was the federal government in order, made a deal with the friends of the president and the Democratic Party to allow them to utilize parts of laws that were already there so that they could make back their losses. Now supposedly this was not available in all the states, and I don't know if it's still that. Another thing that we've seen with the banking law um, that we've seen is, remember we were talking about this when we were looking at different banks to work with, is if you already have an existing, let's say, credit card or mortgage yeah. or loan, they can actually take, if you get a new loan based on, say you're working on a project, they can actually take Yes, the money that you had from that project, apply it to the own yeah. money that you already owe them. If it doesn't count as a payment, they just reduce your principal. Oh, yeah, we've you've seen that happen firsthand. Also, mm -hmm. if you can do an account, uh, account receivable loan, basically what happens if you say if you own a house through that bank, uh, they can actually take the money that you got from the loan. Uh, and never give it to you, never give you the, you know, they can say, well, here, you know, here's, we're doing a 30% charge to you to give you the loan. Oh, we decided that we were going to, because the law says the bank must retrieve the money that was spent on the place, and um, your credit rating has changed. Well, as everybody's gotten worse, nobody's gotten better. They simply take the money that you were going to get from the loan, apply it to the money you owe the bank, and you owe the 20 to 30% uh, mm -hmm. You know, so you, you never get a penny, but you owe for the cost of the loan. So, you so for example, you own twenty to thirty percent of the loan. Let's just let's just say it's well, just use ten thousand yeah. dollars or a hundred thousand, whatever. Go to ten thousand. Ten thousand dollars. So you got a loan for ten thousand dollars. The loan was to do, well, let's say a loan was to operate your business. Yeah. Okay? Pay your vendors and stuff. And pay your vendors. So you got the loan and you put the money in the bank, thinking I'll use this to pay the vendors. Well, instead the bank took it to reduce the principal of a loan that you already owe them. So not only do you not have the money to pay the vendors that you thought you were going to have, they reduce the principal and it didn't count as your payment. So guess what? You don't have the money to pay your bills. You owe, they charge you 20 to 30 percent for a AR loan, right? Yeah. So you now owe them two to three thousand dollars. You don't have the money to pay your vendors and um, yeah, it's and you haven't paid your bills that much. Yeah, I know. I mean, I mean <laughs> So basically, you lost all the way around. No, I mean, she found out about that law the hard way. She made, she made a payment, which she thought was being made on a credit card. They took it and applied it to another loan, and didn't give her credit for making a payment. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a beautiful thing to have happen? Mm -hmm. And they're doing it to people every day. They uh, reduced, they reduced my credit lines on everything. Well, well so, on one of the ones, I had taken money and I put it in the bank because I was going to pay off some bills, yeah. right? They took the money out. They closed the account. So guess what? I didn't even have access to the money. They reduced the principal on it. Like, yeah. And I was current on that beforehand, too. It's yeah. not like I was behind. No, because I have been told by people that, um, that the, the clawbacks were coming. And we're seeing it firsthand. People that we know 
I made payments. I made the payment. Where is it? Well, no. You, uh, that was not applied to the payment. That was applied to, you know, well, you were past due, so we applied it to your past due. Mm -hmm. No, it has to be applied to the payment. That's what it was there for. Mm -hmm. You also, you know, um, here's another trick is what we're finding out, that if you put money in a bank, you know, to say, oh, say, like, say your payments for the month on all your things were $10,000. If you put ten thousand dollars to make all your house payment, you make your house payment, the car payment, the power utility payment, they can actually take the money you put in the bank and apply it to your your loan. And you're going, why would? And you're thinking, well, why don't you keep it in separate places? Well, that's one of the things that we're learning. But usually, what happens is you you start a bank and you have a savings account. Yeah. It goes to a checking account. Yeah. Then they offer you a credit card for your overdraft protection. Yeah. And guess what happens? Then you use the credit card. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it just it's 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 gotten the situation has gotten really ridiculous. I mean, uh, you know, like poor little Monty, she knows how to do it. Monty's over the side, but um, you know, we're we're going to keep you appraised of this stuff because as a small business people, we're getting hurt by the policies that are being done, and no one wants to. The, you're listening to the garbage that's being put out by people that basically have an incentive not to tell you the truth. Most, most people, most of the financial state networks have an incentive to let you know. I flat out saw the other day on one of the networks, I don't care what you're saying, my thing from Wall Street says it said it's down by 200 points. It's not up by... Oh, that was amazing. Yeah, he's got the thing, the guy has it from Wall Street showing the market is down and the reporters are telling you it's a great day and it's a, what is it, a bull market and the market is roaring. Well, they, the market went down by, uh, the market collapsed after he pulled. He actually had the camera point at the thing, showing it's down, mm -hmm. folks. But they, they have an incentive to not tell you the truth because they're making money, uh, because they're all invest, they're heavy in the market. So we'll keep, we're going to keep telling you this stuff until somebody actually listens to the way we will. So. Oh, uh, hopefully we'll affect some people out there because yeah. this is important information. You know, whether you learn it, ahead of time and can take an action or you learn it the hard way. Yeah, and most of you learn everything the hard way in this world. So I guess until next time, this is okay. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.montybubble.net on the net or to our basically commercial site, which is www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com. And wherever you're watching, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you. Oh, yes, and also, Yes, friend us or actually like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at Monty Bubbles. But most of all, thank you for hundreds and hundreds of millions of links to content we produced. Oh, and drop by the travelsuite.com.